Actually, you don't require that much of a device. Oh. So we just went in, so they, right now they're, they're checking three different offices to ensure what they submitted for payment. It was actually submitted for payment to you guys by Friday, okay? So basically we're waiting on payroll to find out where they have the payment at. Okay. They have been submitted, it should be processed on the 24th like you guys expected. But for some reason it's not showing on MVP. <clears throat> so we're trying to clarify that with uh, payroll. So it could still come. What's that? It could still show up. It could, could show. Yeah. yeah. Correct. It could be that they're behind and, and tomorrow we pop up on your AP. You know. So but payroll is really the issue. Right now. <laughs> That's the next question. Like I said, they say that it's paid differently. So. It's not the same yeah. check that you receive your, your regular pay, uh, paycheck. So it would be too cool. If you go on ADP, it should be too checks that you can see. We should receive something tonight, <coughs> later on, if that's the case, I'll certainly let you know just in the normal way. Okay? Fair enough? Questions on that issue? No? <coughs> Good. <laughs> now the other subject that I, that I want to talk to you guys, and I want to make it as short as possible, is the uh, organizational structure. Uh, you already know uh, folks that we have here departed for the reason of better opportunities, <coughs> make a better work, uh, there are other jobs. Uh, also, one of the reasons is overall efficiencies. They did some reductions in ports, both at corporate and here. So what you see here is we'll continue as such until this contract ends and we go on to the second contract. Uh, <coughs> and when I say second contract, is uh, the uh, our company is, is going to bid again. You know that it's going to bid on on the next uh, contract coming up in June. We're hoping that in June, the contract has been extended one month. Uh, and uh, that's it, Mr. Neil, Mary Neil, will be here on the 28th. Any questions you may want to know or have regarding the contract, he is the person to talk to, he has all the answers, okay? Okay, any questions on that? Okay, <clears throat> as, as we move forward, uh, what, I, what I ask of you folks is uh, what do you expect from me and what I expect from you as a team? Look at it as a team, uh, as a team effort. Uh, what you can expect from me is uh, honesty, fairness, you have a voice, uh, consistency uh, and treat you with respect. What I expect from you folks is uh, <coughs> adhere to the contract. Please help me make sure that we adhere to the contract that we're hired to do from here. To include little things, they're small, but yet uh, sometimes they're a big issue to the, uh, to the military attendance, behavior, uniform standards, and basically respect in the workplace. What I need from you is really is your support and teamwork uh, <clears throat> to bring the program to the level of uh, professionalism uh, that we that we are as a team. 
uh, in, in what are we capable of? We're a great team, guys. I mean, we've got some great people here. Great, great people. Uh, <coughs> now, having said that, uh, uh, we'll be going on our and uh, when Mr. Jack or Mr. Neil gets here on the 28th, and I'll be going for two weeks uh, by tonight, so. <coughs> My return will be depend. I have to go from here on the business street related to this contract to go away for two, three, maybe four days, <coughs> and I'll go on leave. My leave is based on the previous contract that I was on in Iraq. <coughs> I haven't been on leave since the last July, so the leave that I'm taking is based on that contract. And hope to see you guys uh, later part of the month of March. Mr. Perez, when do you go? I know 14, right? Mr. Perez also goes to leave on the 14th. He'll also be back. So he'll probably end up coming back at the uh, same time. <coughs> Hopefully not in the same way. <laughs> yeah, if you guys take it from experience, don't travel with this guy. It's nothing but bad luck. Seriously. Like I said, Mr. Uh, Mr. Neil, he's the director of, uh, of operations for this contract. He'll be here for about 30 well, until I return, basically in the bar. Uh, so what I ask of you guys is that we have about four months left before this contract uh, is over and done with, as we, and then we'll continue the next one. So let's make it a lot, a lot of fun. It's possible, as much as we can have. Now, do you have any questions on that before we move on to the awards? No questions. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, sir. What's the status on R and R for those okay. of us who? That's a good question. <coughs> we submit right now uh, during the month of March and April. There's only two days that I'm that we're looking at. It look. Let me let me rephrase that. What we look at is the operational needs of the contract. I mean, you put some ground. And we're, we're looking at two days only, the latter part of March, basically the latter part of March, but we go down to 76 tons, and the other one is 77. So we're looking at that, and what we're trying to do is allow everyone to go and leave for what you requested. Now, are we going to be able, be able to do for everybody to, what you requested, 90 to 95% probabilities? Okay, and that includes those in April. <coughs> that query that we have done, we sent it back to corporate, asking as such to allow you folks, based on what we came out with, to allow you uh, folks to uh, go on your arm. Okay? Your no questions? Answer your question? <coughs> Not entirely, no. <laughs> so basically, Luther, what we're saying is, there's a, there's a, for the, for the month of March, we have a lot of people that were eligible for the leave at that time. Uh, we, operationally wise, they don't have enough slots, I guess you would say, for everyone to go in that time. They're going, they're going to attempt to open April, uh, as we had discussed before. Uh, and depending on how many and the numbers on the boots and the ground and all that, we'll be able to allow a certain amount of people to go. Okay, so we're just, right now they're just <coughs> adjusting those numbers to see who and what. And of course, the priority is going to be for those that have never gone, uh, that have never gone on any leave. Uh, you know, everyone else will probably have to pay them out if the contract does end in June and we do not win it. <coughs> they will probably pay those balances out. Okay. So a lot. It's just gonna they're gonna open it a month at a time, depending on how many times we get extended. You know, if, if they win the contract, then of course it'll go back to regular business, everybody goes at their time when they are eligible to go on it. I know there was some talk about uh, a short R and R that the company was going to pay for to go to that that's still to a possibility. Buy. That's still a possibility it hasn't been has been discounted yet. But they, we have to find the numbers first of the people that are eligible for April and the ones that couldn't go in March if they want to go. So it's all about the boots of ground and the operational needs. Yeah. 
<laughs> so somebody screwed up because, like, I was told the same excuse in about December, the same thing, you know, not enough people here. Now you're saying it again, right? Well, unfortunately, you know, like I said, it's right. not operational. It's an operational need. <clears throat> so, so it wasn't planned on by management anyways? Uh, it, it's more. And he, he can tell you more. Well, about it. It, it's more about you know, we're only allowed to have so many people here on the ground, and but we're, we have to adhere to the contract with the military to have at least 75 here on the ground. Right. The issue is all the unexpected leaves that happen. You know, people who are emergency leave, resign, things of that nature. So those are things we can't really control, and you know, we can't have on the ground. Uh, you know, we don't have. We're not allowed to have a reserve, basically. To fill in for those individuals, so we only have a very small window. That wow! Actually, that we can have on ground. So Basically, at any at, at the most that we could have a regular POT at the most is 13. 13. Then we have the admin leave, the administration <coughs> leave, the LWAPs previous to that. And those accumulate basically about just about 25 people will leave at any given time. So when you start <coughs> doing the numbers and then you start going to 76, 77, and you hope, you hope that obviously that there are no emergencies. Because the, the moment that we go below 75, it's a huge write up. Sure. So yeah, we, we play with the numbers uh, every day. So it's not that we're not planning, we are planning. And I can show it to you any given well, time. Yeah, I'm just thinking it, Mr. It Mr. Neal, Mr. Hmm? Neal should consider that for future contracts. The what? Mr. Neal should consider more, <coughs> more of a... Well, again, depends. We can go down as low as 75, mm -hmm. and we can go as high as 91. So what do you do with 91? You send them home? Probably. Or 75, you go hard? It's... Well, we understand 75 we minimum. Yeah. Okay. The, the last thing that I have is there are positions open now for. <coughs> we have not opened up for the uh, lease. Or ever. I guess we'll call here Venom. Yeah, correct. Uh, there's, uh, we're going to open two positions for uh, leads, and I'll let you know as soon as they're open. <coughs> uh, and there's going to be one position. In fact, it is already open for a Venom for another assistant site manager. The process that we're going to do is uh, basically is a board consisting of five people. <coughs> it's gonna be the HR site manager and peers. You'll go through a whole bunch of questions. It's quite a few questions. It goes through a recommendation. That list is sent back to the US for HR and legal to review to make sure that we're doing all very objectively. Then once he comes back, we announce the winner and we tell those that we're not selecting the reasons why. Okay? Sir, yeah. You talked about the uh error tech or we talked about the error tech uh, a long time ago. What's the status on trying to um, have you know door to pay or something, you know. <coughs> 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 I don't remember that one. I mean, it, but we can check on that. I was not aware. Yeah, we're trying to get a, a corporate account right now set up. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if they're gonna. We can ask. We can certainly ask. Say, uh, they'll give us a uh, discount for our employees somehow. Uh, we have to give them an average of how many we're gonna need it. All right. So that that way they can maybe come up with a number. <coughs> we'll ask. So we'll, we'll, find we'll get out. back to you. Yes, sir. Sniper Hill in here a couple of days ago. Here to explain. Unfortunately, the contract that we have is until June. Pressing contract. So we can we cannot hire Sniper Hill. What we're pursuing right now is a is a bigger bandwidth. Okay, with the pressing contract. Any other questions? Okay, as far as the um, bonus, since it's going to be delayed, is there any way <coughs> that they can prorate the next one onto the bonus if we wait on it? Can they prorate the bo um, next bonus onto this one that's due on Friday if it's still delayed? For us, <laughs> basically, for us having to wait as long as we wait, 
Well, so if we wait like two <coughs> weeks for the bonus, I feel like they should prorate it and yeah, add some of the next bonus to that time. I don't think everybody will want to die. I mean, if they First wait, all, we have we should be compensated in some way. Wait, well, if here. you get it on the Friday, when you review, we open. <coughs> Well, let me at least at least wait until then because it was too later for payment. The only thing we're trying to find out if it's going to be paid on Friday. Because what we did from the operation side of the house, it was submitted uh, three days ago, in fact. So, again, when when I spoke to them, they basically stated, uh, "Wait, a, it's it's a different pay. You will not see it on on ADP because it's a different pay. So you should receive it by Friday. So give us the opportunity." Hopefully by tomorrow we'll have an answer for you where is it because it was submitted uh, for payment. Shouldn't they be in touch with you in the first place, like send you something <coughs> heads up if there's anything going wrong with our payment? We do get we do get updates, but it's from our portion, the operational portion. We, we don't control payroll. Payroll's their own little department, so we don't know what they're Okay. Any more questions? Can we sell back our 10 day? Can you sell it back? Like, how we sell back our arm, how we can't sell back our 10 day? <coughs> Have you sold one already? Yeah. <coughs> As of right now, that, that is an option, <coughs> but that they are looking at that. If you're not going to be at, if you're not going to be eligible to, to take that last, <coughs> that they'll have to pay those leaves if you're not eligible, you're not capable of taking it because there's just no time for the contract ends. So, yeah, normally our process is no, you do not, you do not sell that last one. So, but again, that option might be open depending on how the contract is going to Okay. Any Anybody? Yes, ma'am. Based on the turnover that we have regarding the end of contract bonus, how is that affected? Meaning, what do you mean turnover? It's a fair question, guys. Is that mine or somebody's? <laughs> Not mine. Any, any other question? What was this question? <laughs> no? Right here. No? Disregard, Mr. Lucas. What was this question? You said disregard. A few meetings ago, I brought up a <coughs> safety issue about having to walk down <coughs> the street to the DPAC. <laughs> And everybody said they would get back with me, but nobody ever got back with me on uh, I think you were told at that time, uh, we don't control the military. They are the ones who do the traffic analysis, the traffic study, and it was brought up to them. They turn it over to civil engineering. Yet, civil engineering has to go to the Army. The Army is the one who controls the traffic flows. We have no say. But I noticed that 
the suggestion I had was to make this a one-way street and the other street over there a one-way street and I noticed that they made that down there a one-way street did they just get it wrong did they get the wrong street or <laughs> No, it's a, uh, it takes more than just doing that. It's a, it's a traffic analysis that they do. They just go and do it out of uh, And again, we have no control on it at all. It is the Army down here. So, oh. and, and, and that's what basically Mr. Adams told you that. Uh, but it's, it's still a problem. I'm yeah, still it's, almost it's getting it over every day. Anywhere you drive here is a problem. We can't Any other questions? Okay. I don't know where the hell is going up at now. What's up? I'm kind of putting you on the spot with this. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but my question would be, would y'all think it would be fair for us to receive, people that have been here like the whole country, mm -hmm. do y'all think it would be fair for us to receive the same bonus as they <clears throat> Somebody I think we discussed this before <laughs> this day. <clears throat> I cannot answer that question. It, it is a good question. Did you guys feel that? No. <coughs> Basically, the is, those folks have been here for over a year. The bonus will be larger than or equal to those who have been ex less than. Uh, I don't have an answer for that, uh, and I uh, I will ask like I asked like I told you that, but I do not have an answer for that. In fact. Most, most probably, most likely, Mr. Neal will be the one answering that question because he is the guy running the contract. <coughs> That's the one who wrote up the contract? He is the one that previously and is going to write the contract now. What, what he's coming here for is to write the new contract. And you'll be asking for input from you folks. 65,000. Okay? Hmm? They, they mentioned 65,000. I'll be shaking my head like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Luke, are you a race? People are a dime a dozen right now. We can get them for 50,000. <laughs> but it's just you. You're more happy to give what you got. Don't you ever suggest that to that man. Well, I don't have to. He's, I'm sure he'll tell us that. Well, I'm sure he, he might know that. He might drop us back to 40 where we started. Yeah. Did you sign a 40? No. Did you hear about a 40? I was told a 40 when I started, but shortly afterwards they called me and said, uh, get that 40, it's now 60. Thank you. 40 to 60. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a big raise. Necessarily. Look at all the stuff that you get as part of the other contract. You know, like, it's just a whole bunch of stuff that goes in. It's not, uh, it's not the big package of money, you know. Because uh, the government only allows you to have so much <laughs> So, the, whatever money that they, that, that we're trying to save, the extra amount of folks that stay here is yes. One more? Yes, sir. I got a statement. You know, I don't mind coming to you. I really don't. But if you want to ask a question, please let it be about the contract. Because it just makes the meeting go on and on and on and on and on. I mean, it, we obviously don't have that long left here. So they're not going to give you no money, people. <laughs> just stop it. Come on. we got to stop bleeding sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we've been doing this for two years now. Okay. Can we move forward? Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, the last thing I want to do, it takes a few minutes, is uh, the awards. Uh, <coughs> Ms. Levon Butler. What do we know? Yeah. How does she do it? And then. And then we'll do the team. Show me some. Come on, lady. I got a lot of money. How does she do it? Yeah.
This was a team. Could you please? Did you take it? I don't think you took it. No. Take another one. Hurry up. <laughs> Johnny Woolley. Mr. Woolley. Robert Manville. Robert Manville. Who oh, is he? Can we have Team Alpha up front, please? Team Alpha. Linda Miller. No, just. Yeah, we're right here. Team Alpha. I posted that. Where's Scott at? Hey, listen, listen to the hate. Belinda, Belinda, Mendez. Oh man. Maybe she has to take a picture in the bathroom. Hopefully. Who can clear it? I'm taking it on my hand. Lonnie. I got it. Scott here. Scott. He's not feeling good. He's not feeling good. Keep. He's roughing this. Oh, you Pass it up. Hey, pass it down. Don't keep. Don't keep. Money. Put it in <laughs> Save keep. <laughs> this is the third time in a row you guys won? No, first time. <laughs> it's finally the same one. Wait, don't take it yet. All right, ready. One, two, three. That was you. That it? That it, everybody? One more time. Look at you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
No, but I do. It's like this. So Team Alpha has to pay for all the pizza, pizzas. You know pizza. I'll eat pizza. Neither do I. You guys do again. Do pizza. Do pizza. Do pizza. Who's my brother team at? Regroup, y'all gotta regroup. Yeah. Gotta get better. It's so funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, ready to eat? Yeah, let's go eat. Huh? <laughs>